Welcome to the Faculty of Veterinary and Agricultural Sciences at the University of Melbourne. I'm Professor Ken Hinchcliffe, Dean of the Faculty. The new Bachelor of Agriculture degree is a completely rewritten version of our Bachelor of Agriculture that we've been teaching for over 100 years. We rewrote the degree from the ground up with extensive consultation from industry. This ensures that the graduates from the Bachelor of Agriculture are ready to go into the profession from the first day they graduate. I have been involved in the, in the development of the new curriculum and from an industry point of view I feel really comfortable that, that Melbourne Uni is on the right path. The combination of, of combining soil science, um, plant science, animal science and commercial economics is a really important uh, factor in, in preparing graduates that, that can enter the workforce in a range of different sectors. We need agricultural scientists to be able to um, uh, communicate very effectively with farmers. So they need to be able to understand biological systems which are inherently complex and they need to be able to communicate effectively both internally and externally. But one of the large challenges uh, probably over the next 30 years for the agricultural industry is just the uh, sheer demand for food. So through to 2050, the global food demand is going to increase by about 60% and we're going to need a lot of very cluey people to help us out with that issue. The key challenges the industry is facing, apart from climatic conditions, in my opinion, is really the shortage of people um, and the ongoing need for talent and people that are prepared to learn in different areas as the industry changes. For example, information technology and the effect that that's having on agricultural systems is going to be a key area of, of recruitment in the future. It's a really exciting time for agriculture in Australia at the moment. Enormous interest in agriculture, tremendous investment in agriculture and with that investment of course comes the need for highly trained skilled individuals to work in the agricultural sector. We want our graduates to have a really strong foundation in the enabling sciences. We also want them to have a really strong understanding in the core disciplines of plant science, soil science, animal science and economics. They'll also have the opportunity to study some bread subjects or to choose electives from other majors. We want them to be able to work well in teams. We want them to be able to communicate very well. We want them to be able to apply this understanding to solving real world industry problems. At Melbourne, we're committed to educating agricultural scientists to the future. We're well placed to do so with over 60 academics on four campuses. Most importantly, we have a Dookie campus, which is a living, working farm that is also our major teaching laboratory. The Dookie farm is the largest agricultural education farm in the Southern Hemisphere. It's about 2,440 hectares. It has a number of enterprises that we have here. We've got a robotic dairy. We have a large sheep enterprise. We have about 700 hectares of crop, including wheat and canola a piggery and a small apple orchard. Students will be introduced to all the range of agricultural industries, the production industries within Australia and also where Australia sits in the world as an agricultural producer. The thing that's very exciting about second year is that in second semester every student will have the option to spend the semester at Dookie. The University of Melbourne prepares students to be job ready from day one, I think through a number of ways and activities. Utilising the resources of Dookie is a key one and being one of the only universities that has an active farm as part of their teaching facilities is certainly a, a strong factor in developing those students' knowledge of the sector. I think also the field trips and the engagement with industry along the course of the degree is also a really important part. Employers are very complimentary of Melbourne graduates. They like the breadth of studies that they've undertaken. They've been exposed to both plant and animal industries, agronomy, science and economics, and that uh, tends to stand them in pretty good stead for a range of different jobs. So we're trying to set people up to be employable right into the future and are able to be dynamic and contribute to the industry long term. This year, the enrolment in the Bachelor of Agriculture saw the largest growth of any agricultural program in Australia. This clearly demonstrates that students see the value in an agricultural education and the wonderful job opportunities and career prospects of students who graduate from the Bachelor of Agriculture at the University of Melbourne. I definitely recommend the Agricultural Science degree at Melbourne Uni. The, the balance of subjects and not being locked into one set career pathway is really beneficial as well as having the two campuses allows the theory to be learnt and then implemented in, in a practical sense up at the Dookie campus. 
As part of my studies at Melbourne, uh, I've learnt a great deal about an industry that sort of flies under the radar of lots of young students looking to come to university. I think with growing concerns about climate change and sustainability, what we're studying at this university is becoming more and more relevant. Agriculture in Australia is booming and the best way of becoming involved is by studying the new Bachelor of Agriculture at the University of Melbourne.